here we are on, on earth. The reality is that the future is a bit bleak, but it's in our hands. We cannot exist without our environment. Human rights are completely implicated in environmental rights. Our politics and our economics and our cultural disagreements all take place within this framework. People are experiencing environmental injustices all over South Africa. What is a democratic country when we do not inform the policies that govern us? Those leaders in municipalities, they must know that you are in charge as communities. The state is only a custodian of the land. People own the land. So the state is a custodian of the land on behalf of the people. I could say that the youth is very angry, like very, very angry, because they are in demand for change. I believe that there is no environmental justice without social justice. Realizing yourself beyond you. Participation of girls and women is about telling your story, the way you experience it, not the way it's written. I'm very positive that we're going to get our voices heard and we're going to get the change that we are longing. When people come together and make commitment to stand up against something, that's the voice of civil society that needs to sound louder than anything else. Not in our name, not in our community, not on our soil. You are not going to take our resources away from us. <laughs>